What's happening, Town of Web, Old Forge, School, it's Mr. Flood. It's okay. I know none of you remember me. I was there like three weeks ago. Gave an assembly. Oh, yeah, that guy. Listen, I don't care if you remember me. I care that you remember something that I said or two things that I said. So I wanted to come back, guys and girls, with this video just to say two things. Well, more than two things, but for two reasons. So the first reason is to say thank you for welcoming me, welcoming me for making me feel comfortable for the short time that I was in your school, uh, for paying attention during my assembly. You were also, you know, kind when I was speaking. So, th you know, you laughed at the appropriate times. You're quiet at the appropriate times. So thank you so much for that. And the second reason I'm coming back with this video is because we all have built-in forgetters. So in other words, young people forget things, old people forget things. We all forget stuff very quickly. And I wanted to remind you of the challenges I gave you when I was there. There were three simple things that you can do that I do daily uh, to improve my life and while I'm doing that, improve the lives of others around me. So, or vice versa, improve other people's lives. And by doing that, that improves my life. So the three challenges I gave you were to look on the inside of people, you know, realize that we all, we have more in common than we, than we have, than we are different. We're all unique, certainly, but on the inside, when it comes right down to it, we have much more in common with people than we, than differences. So give people the benefit of the doubt. Don't judge others. You can always assume the best about people. Give off that, give off that energy. Uh, and look on the inside of people and they will look on the inside of you hopefully the second challenge I gave you you know even though you're in a small school you will need a trusted adult to go to at some point during your high school career um, in your life you're always going to need people to talk to to leave stuff with to bounce stuff off of um, to get feedback on and you know the more often you can do that the, the, the better mental health you will have because you can't carry things that people carry things around and they struggle with them and they think about them and ruminate on them and don't share it with anybody. And then it ends up being debilitating to them at some point down the road in their life, if not earlier in their life. So make sure you reach out and say thank you to two adults and connect with a couple of adults in the building um, for good reasons and for difficult reasons also. And the third challenge, the one that was most important to me, and again, I know you're in a small school, but include others. No one eats alone you know, include others in conversations in the hallway, on the, wherever, you know, on the bus, in the sports field, in the classroom, where can I include more people in my life? You can never have too many friends. You re you just can't, you can't have too many friends, too many acquaintances. Um, it makes you a better person um, by getting to know as many people as possible. It makes you more well-rounded. So I had an awesome time there. G cool little town. I'd love to come up, but I hopefully I'll come up in the summer and run into you guys in like the coffee shop or the bakery or the general store or wherever. Uh, but it was awesome to be up there. And uh, I hope you have a great end to the year. If you're having a prom, seniors or whoever, if you guys are going to the prom, guys and girls are going to the prom, please be safe um, before the prom, at the prom, and after the prom, and days after the prom, and leading up to graduation, and then be safe over the summer, obviously. So I had a great time there, and I hope you're all well. Have an awesome end to the year. Have a great day, guys and girls.